you t oh, you guys came out with the uh, Economic Development Council, Move to Normal, and um, you're out here today to do what? To what we brought you here? Uh, the number one thing that we're doing today is supporting the workers uh, and, and what they said about the workers. That's why we're here to, to support them and uh, as part of the task force to make sure that they know that we're here for the long haul. So that's why we're here today. Um, can you speak a little bit, uh, either one of you, on the loss of 1,300 jobs in this Twin Cities area, what that, what that means economically? Uh, yeah, it, it's a... Uh, it's obviously a big uh, an effect for our community. Uh, a large portion of those also come from the Peoria area, so uh, we've been working with Peoria and having conversations with them about how we uh, work with them. Um, but you know, number one priority is to make sure that they have the resources they need, uh, and we've been doing that through uh, CareerLink and other areas. Um, but that's really what's most important today. Um, in the task force, can you talk as to what some of the activities with the task force have been up to today? Sure, we, we have two parts. Uh, one part is obviously helping the workforce and getting accustomed to where their future is going forward from today. Uh, the second part is attraction of a new uh, user of this facility and that's ongoing. Uh, we continue to have interest uh, in the facility. Uh, we continue to entertain uh, visitors. So uh, that's going to be ongoing for quite a while uh, in the attraction process. But nothing definite to announce yet? Uh, nothing to talk about or announce today. Okay. Um, but hopeful? Uh, we're always hopeful. We're very positive about this facility. It's a great facility, great location, and uh, we're going to continue to be positive about it. Okay. And um, what would you tell the workers? Uh, what's your message to them? Uh, number one, thank you for your years of service to this community and to this facility. Um, so thank you would be number one. And number two is that the community supports you and you're going to continue to work with them to help them find alternate uh, employment, but also to make sure that this facility is reused oh, and that there might be opportunities in the future for them. Sonia.